Hi, it's Jonathan Strickland with How Stuff Works Now. We are at CES 2016, and one of the big themes this year is high-tech automobiles. Now, before the show started, we had heard rumors that Ford was going to announce an amazing partnership. We thought it was going to be with Google. It turns out, no, it's with Amazon. Ford is going to start to incorporate the Alexa technology in its vehicles. Alexa is the digital voice concierge service that works with Amazon's Echo. So not only will you be able to talk to your car and get real-time information about how your vehicle is doing, it will actually interact with your smart home. So you can tell your car as you're driving into the garage to open the garage door, or to turn on the lights, or to change the thermostat. It's pretty phenomenal stuff, all in a car. Now we're over at the Volkswagen booth, and Volkswagen has a concept electric vehicle on display, hopefully to repair some of the damage from the clean diesel scandal of late 2015. This is called the Buddy, which is adorable. And not only is it an electric vehicle, it's actually an electric platform. It has two electric motors, one in the front, one in the back. That allows for a nice flat cabin. It has lots of weird features like wireless inductive charging for your electronics, as well as voice recognition software. And it recognizes not just one voice, but multiple voices. So if you're sitting in the back seat and you think you need some air conditioning, you can pipe up and the car will adjust for you. It's a pretty awesome concept, but will we ever actually see it in production? Maybe or maybe not, but I'm sure we'll see at least some of the technology make its way into future models down the line. All right, guys, now we are in the booth of Faraday. This company had incredible buzz going into CES 2016 because no one really knew what they were up to. This is what they were up to, designing a car from the ground up. It answers the question, what would happen if you combine the auto industry with a high-tech startup company? This is what happens. It's a modular car platform. So what we're seeing is a race car concept, but the platform underneath could actually be adjusted to any number of vehicle designs from SUV to compact car. It's all in a modular battery formation. So you can take batteries out if you don't need that much power. For a race car, you're gonna soup it up. You're gonna add more batteries in, and then you change the body of the car as well. Not only that, but they have modular drivetrain outlays that they can put on this thing. They can make it autonomous if you want to. They can make it a connected car. Pretty much every high-tech concept you've heard of for a vehicle could be incorporated in the Faraday model. And this is incredibly exciting. It took 18 months for them to go from basic concept to what you see behind you. That is lightning fast in the auto industry. If you want to talk disruptive technologies, Take a look, this is it. Well guys, that wraps up this episode of How Stuff Works Now. I hope you enjoyed it. We're in high gear here at CES. Keep checking back at now.howstuffworks.com for all the coolest stories going on right now.